What is going on, everybody? Phil here. Welcome to another episode of the Go Lead Everything podcast. Got a real good one for you today. This is a real truth that I'd like to share with you because it seems some people are still confused about it. You know, sometimes I post things on social and you may question, hey, is, you know, what is this post? Why, why is Phil saying this? Phil's a smart guy. Why would you say something so dumb? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. But um, I'll share with you what I know because it's the truth as I know it to be. And uh, when I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But uh, I'll share uh, something really interesting about investments with you today, which it's funny that people seem to respond so well to my financial content because I'm not a financial guy and it's probably my, one of my weakest areas especially growing up. Um, but it's become one of the areas where I feel like I have a lot of insight to provide because I hadn't learned it the hard way and I had to dig in myself and learn these things. So um, before we get in, I did just want to say, if you haven't yet, go to the Bill Swanson channel on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Pause this. Search Bill Swanson. P-H-I-L-S-W-A-N-S-O-N. Please subscribe. And uh, we're also on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Play, Radio Public, Pocket Casts. Any of those you feel like going to subscribe to as well. Helps get the show out. I'm sure you would appreciate it. Rate, review. Those that have done it, really appreciate you. We've gotten some really good reviews. I'll start sharing those as well. But um, also, if you haven't yet, we got some gear because y'all were asking me to get some GLE gear and you wanted some GLE gear. So I got you some GLE gear. So go check out goleadeverything.com slash gear and have a gander at that got some good stuff and uh, new designs coming all the time if you have anything you want specifically too uh, that's not there ping me and we'll see what we can do all right so today i'm actually going to use the whiteboard oh my goodness this is going to be fun let me see uh let me see if i can do this share screen got it where is the white board? How come I'm not seeing the white board, yo? Here we go. Let's have a look. Ooh, there it is. Cool. All right. So 401k loans. 401. What is a 401k? And y'all may think you know everything already, but bear with me on this one because it took me a while to wrap my head around this one. And I keep going back and forth with these financial advisors on this, and they, they tell me I'm not thinking about it right. Well, they also say a lot of things I don't agree with as far as financial advice, but you know, I like new ideas, and I, I've become very pro the strategy of you just do what makes sense to you. So that's what I do, and I'm not a financial advisor. So this is just one guy's opinion. Take it or leave it. 401k loan. So one, what is a 401k? What is a 401k? It's just tax deferred account. So what does that mean? It means when you put money into the account, you're putting money in that isn't taxed, right? So I've got this bucket of money and I'm slowly going to start filling it up with money. But when the money goes into the bucket, I'm not paying tax on that money cool right so now i've got more money in there 
that's going to compound interest grow. And in theory, that's cool. But as this bucket, you know, continues to get bigger throughout my life, right? And I continue to fill it. One day, I'm going to pay tax on all of that. Right? You following me? So it's tax deferred. I'm deferring my taxes to the future. And, uh, you know, one of the things to think about is, okay, how is this different than any other investment account? Well, other investment accounts, you're going to fill that bucket with post-tax money. So you are going to pay tax after tax. So this is like your self-directed IRA, your Roth, um, et cetera, et cetera. Any other, you know, type of investment you're paying back with after tax money, right? So this is cool because, you know, I already paid, like if I, if I fill this bucket with after tax money and then it, it earns interest, like this amount as I continue to fill it, right? This original money I put in has already been taxed. So I'm only going to pay, when I pull it out, I'm going to pay capital gains tax. And depending on where, how much money you make is going to vary, but typically it's about 20% is what I understand capital gains to be typically. So, cool. I already paid tax on this money, whatever my rate was when I put it in. Then I get taxed on this money when I pull it out. Cool. So going to get taxed on all of it, right? There you go. I'm just paying tax now. And I'm paying tax later on my capital gains. All right. So, a Roth. Cool. What's the advantage of a Roth? Well, in a Roth, you're limited on what you can put in, 6000 a year. Uh, and you can only do it if you make less than a certain amount of money, which um, for some people, including myself, can be part of the problem. There's ways to do backdoor Roths, which I know I'm kind of going down the off track of 401ks here. But uh, talk to your financial advisor about this one. You can do backdoor Roth. I haven't leveraged this just yet, but it's on my list of things to do. Um, but yeah, some people make too much money and you can't even you can't even use a Roth. But if you can, I would max it out. It's pretty good because that way you've got after-tax money in here and you don't pay tax on your capital gains when you pull it out. Again, that's my understanding. I'm not... Uh, I'm not a financial guy. This is just Phil sharing his opinion. So let's get back to 401ks because I'm just kind of setting up terminology for y'all as we talk through this. So how did this come up? Well, I took a 401k loan. I've done that a lot, actually. And people think I'm negative about 401k loans because of some of my posts. But um, they're okay. Not my favorite, but... They're nice because they're quick and easy and don't require any approvals. And, I, you know, if you need some money, you can just go go get some real quick. Cool. Um, what is the real benefit of a 401k? All right. The real benefit. You ready? This is this is like the gold. Because people say to max out your 401k. And I would say that is dumb, 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 dumb to do. If you're going to, like, like um, your 401k, you're deferring tax. So you're, you're basically betting that you're going to pay less tax now, or excuse me, more tax now, 
and less tax later. Right? This is that. This is what a tax deferred account is doing. You're, you're making a bet that taxes now are less than your taxes will be later. Now, do you make more money now, or do you think you'll make more money later in life after you've got ten more years of experience? Like, do you want your money to go up year on year, or do you want it to go down? Right? Like, I, it's it's very confusing to me how anybody, just because of that principle. I mean put aside the fact that taxes typically aren't going down. I mean, they have in history, but most of the times the governments like to raise taxes, right? So anyway, I think this, if I had to bet, right? If I was a betting man, which I'm not, I'm not a gambler, but, um, you know, this is what a tax deferred account you're doing. You're, you're betting you're going to pay less tax later, which I think is not so. What do we do instead? Um, instead of a 401k, I would put it in any sort of self-directed investment account or other investments or real estate or anything, right? But the only reason you do put it in a 401k is the match. Dude, the match. This is what a 401k is all about, right? Why? Because I put money in. Again, this is no tax money. So now I've got no tax money in my bucket. Cool. Then employers typically match up to a certain amount. Uh, let's say 5%. Some it's higher, some it's lower, whatever. So say I put in 5%. That company is going to give me another five percent, hundred percent. So this is this is an instantaneous hundred percent return on my investment. Duh! I would do that deal all day, Jimmy, all day. Of course, right? Now they only do that up to a certain percentage. So my strategy and what I would recommend again. I am, this is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You do what you want. Check with your financial advisor. What I do is I get the match. That's all I do. Why would I put any more money in this account? <laughs> like there's way better ways and other places to put money if I want it to grow. So I get that match. Now I got 100% ROI on my money. Cool. And now later in life though, you know, I got 5% plus 5%. So that's like, uh, 10%, whatever amount that is, right? And that's going to grow. And then I'm going to pay tax on that whole thing, that 10% from each paycheck. You know, 10%, 5% of my money, 5% company money. I'll pay tax on that amount. Plus, I'm going to have this interest amount as that thing grows. And I'm going to pay tax on this whole thing later. Right? You with me? Cool. All right. So what's a 401k loan? Now, I've got pre-tax money. Right? Pre-tax money in my bucket. So now we're looking at the bucket. Plus it's gaining interest. Right? Now I'm going to say, okay. Say I've got 50K in here. Right? Total. I'm going to take out a $50,000 loan. All right, cool. So when you take out loans from the bank, from anywhere, loans are tax-free. So this is where people lose me on the whole, um, and, and the whole point of this post is when you take out a 401k loan, you're going to end up paying double tax. And people are like, Phil, you're stupid. You didn't pay tax the first time when it went in your account. Okay. Like, you can think that. That's fine. 
if you take any loan, I can go get a loan from anywhere. I'm not going to pay tax on that. And your 401k loan is no different. Therefore, I consider that a wash, right? Like I'm never going to pay tax on a loan. So why would I even consider that in the equation in this equation, right? So I'm pulling out the money as a loan. And hopefully my mic is working because I don't know what the deal is with my mic these days. You never pay tax with a loan. So I pull out 50K. Again, no tax. So now my money's gone. Boom. I'm, I'm sure I have some other money in there, right? But that 50K is no longer earning interest in my 401K, right? And I don't pay tax when I pull it out. So so uh, it goes into the bucket, no tax, right? Then I pull it out of the bucket, no tax, right? Just like any other loan that I would take from anywhere, any bank, Right. And now the good thing, right, is I'm going to be paying this loan back into my 401k. I'm going to be paying 50k plus interest. Right. But I'm paying, I'm paying myself back. Right. So this interest isn't going to a bank, it's going to me. So that's good. I'll say that's, I don't know. 9% or something. It's been pretty high lately. But cool. That's fine, right? I'm paying me back. So I take a 50K loan out. I'm probably going to be paying like 60K or something like that over a certain amount of time back in there, right? But that 60K is no longer pre-tax, bro. It's not pre-tax. So now I've got 60K over here and it's post-tax. Are you with me? I, I took out pre-tax money and I replaced it with post-tax money. Uh-oh implications so what's your tax rate man i wish i could erase this faster sorry y'all i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying um so here we go now i've got now i've got the money that i just paid back so i got 60k right it's gonna be it's going to be in here. Right? And it's post tax. Now, that's going to gain interest over time now, right? And guess what, y'all? Later in life, when I pull out all of that, I'm going to get taxed again. I don't just pay that capital gains. I do pay capital gains. But I get taxed on the original money again. That's two times tax on that money. Are you with me? It's not pre-tax money in your pre-tax account anymore because I paid it back with post-tax money plus interest. So instead of having 50K in here pre-tax, I have 60K in there post-tax. Are you with me? Is this making sense? And you and the people that think I'm an idiot for thinking this, their argument is, well, Phil, you didn't pay tax on the money the first time. You never do with a loan. Ever. You never pay tax on a loan. So 
Am I saying not to invest in a 401k? No, that's not what I'm saying. Am I saying that you shouldn't take a 401k loan? No, I do it. <laughs> Here's the question. What, like, are you using all of it? Like, what? I want you to just know what you're doing, right? Like, know what you're doing with the 401k loan. So, for example, on a 50k 401k loan, right? The good thing about the 401k is you got the 100% IRR. So if I if I doubled my money, so say I only put 25k of that in and the other 25k is a match, right? So at that point, I've made so you got 25k and 25k. Right? So this was 100% IRR. And now I'm going to pay all that back plus interest, right, of like 9%, right? And I'm going to pay tax on all of that, right? So what's my tax rate? I don't know. Let's just marginal tax rate, say 25% or whatever. Right, so I paid 25% on that. Plus then, later in life, I'm going to get taxed on all that again. Another 25%. Right? So, like, is it still a good deal? If you do the match, yeah. Like, I still think it's a good deal. <laughs> right? I'm just saying... If I can go get a loan from a bank, if I can keep this money in my 401k untouched, growing tax deferred, and I can go get a loan from a bank for less than 9%, well, here's a deal too, right? You're keeping the 9%. So that's good about a 401k loan. But if I can go, like when interest rates were cheap and I can get money at like 4%, like, I would go do that all day instead of a 401k loan. Just go to a bank, get a 4% loan, keep this money in here growing at whatever. I mean, you're probably making, let's just say you get a crappy return. You're probably making 8% on that money. I'd go get 4% money from the bank instead. Like, yeah, I'm paying myself back, but I'd rather have this money growing at 8%, right? A little different environment these days, but are you following this? Is this making sense to you? The principle of a 401k loan. Again, just to summarize. And then I'm going to get off the soapbox. Money goes in pre-tax. Sorry. Then you're going to take the money out as a loan. And the money goes back into your account post tax. Then, which means you got taxed. And when you take out again later in life, you get taxed again. That's double tax, bro. Anyway, something to be aware of, right? It doesn't mean don't take a 401k loan, it doesn't mean don't get your 401k match. It just means I would get your 401k match and I would avoid 401k loans if I can. But um, you should at least know when you take a 401k loan, especially if you're going to just immediately use it all and then pay it back over time with interest, with post-tax income, that you are going to pay double tax on that money. Now, if you take the loan out and you don't use it and you stick it right back, then yeah, like it's cool because you didn't really have any interest and you didn't have, you paid it back with the same, not pre-tax money. Right. So anyway, it's something to think about, something to be mindful of. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to throw some of these, uh, 
ideas in here from time to time. I could go on and on. I've got a, a, quite a few financial topics I'm passionate about. And um, we'll save those for another day. One of those is insurance and tax benefits of insurance that get overlooked. And so I'll, I'll kind of walk through some things and maybe recommend a couple books to y'all about um, how to effectively utilize insurance for savings accounts because it may be going away. They're already changing the laws a little bit and um, you may not have the ability to take care of, take advantage of these accounts much longer. But um, for today, y'all, I do just want to say, I appreciate you joining me, bearing with me. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about the 401k account in general versus other investments and especially loans because the 401k is the worst like it's literally one of the worst investments you could possibly do beyond the match if you get the match it's probably the best investment you can do like i don't know anybody who can guarantee me a day one, hundred percent rate of return on my investment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay tax on all that. Cool, but I would on other capital gain investments too. So, um, you know, if, if I can put in money and get a hundred percent return day one, duh, I'm gonna do that. You should do that too. And it doesn't mean you don't need to know your tax implications. It doesn't mean you don't need to understand what happens if you take a loan and. Um, how you could potentially be double uh, taxed twice on the same money when you take a loan out against your 401k because you're not only paying tax on the capital gains, you're going to pay tax on that whole loan you paid, loan amount you paid back later in life. So I love y'all. Hope you have a great day. Again, one man's opinion, not a financial advisor. Check with yours. Go grab some gear. Go lead everything.com slash gear. Share the show. And as you go, lead everything.